Hi everyone, Liam Magpie here and today I've got something else Jurassic World related from Wave 2 and this is the Jurassic World Ankylosaurus, I'm hoping I pronounced that right, which I picked up the other day. It's the slowly coming into the shops and um, I can't wait to get this open. I've been really excited to pick up this dinosaur and this is also Aurorosaurus and I'm also going to scan it into the app. The packaging is quite similar to the other packaging and um, what we've been getting with the volcano exploding in the background. I just think the packaging looks so cool. Um, on the back it shows you the button where it rolls and it's also got an action feature with this figure. And there's some of the new dinosaurs. We've already got the Triceratops if you haven't watched that video. Please check that out on my channel and these are the other two figures um, you can get as well. I'm maybe getting this one up here but I'm not sure about this one as I'm only collecting a selective few. I wish I could collect every single one but I don't have the space and I'm only collecting the ones what really catch my eyes. So this is the Ankylosaurus. I'm hoping I pronounced that right like I said but without further ado I'm going to open this. So guys, I got the Ankylosaurus out of the packaging. Before we have a closer look, I'm quickly just going to scan it into the app. I will take a picture of the code um, if you want it for your collection. And I'm just going to quickly scan mine in. So, I've scanned it into the app and I'm just going to quickly show you what it looks like. So that's what it looks like. It looks absolutely awesome. Um... So now that I've scanned that in, I'm going to get back to the review. So guys, now that I've scanned it in, I'm going to take a picture of this code. So then you can get your hands on this dinosaur to add to your collection on the app. So stay tuned to the end of that. So guys, let's have a closer look at the Ankylosaurus. And my overall impressions, I think it looks absolutely amazing. I love the sculpt. I love the paintwork. I... Like the, I love the colour scheme. I love this faded mintish green colour, um, fading into the this dark brown colour on its belly. It's got the Jurassic World symbol there, the code there, and I um, I like the fact that they've hid the speaker underneath its belly. So there's the speaker there, which will test out the sounds, um, sound effects on that. And then you can even unscrew it and change the batteries if it runs out of batteries. So that's really good that they've added that. Um, with this mintish green, it fades into this stone green, um, grey on its back, which looks really good. I love the way the colours just blend real well. And then it has this ripple effect on its armour on its back, um, which would it which would be used to protect itself from predators. And then it's got these spikes on its back, which is in this like rubber material, which I think it's done for safety reasons. Finishing it off on the top of the, um, on the sides of the armour, it's got more spikes in there, also rubber. So I think it's done so you don't hurt yourself or prick yourself. They're not sharp, they won't hurt you. So if you got them for children of a certain age, they would be absolutely fine. Um, the tail looks really good with these lumps and bumps um, in this green colour. Um, I think the sculpt on the tail looks really good. And then it fades into this darker green at the end. And then it's got like a club at the end, what it would use for a weapon to protect itself from predators in this darker green, which just looks so good. Um, but overall, I think the sculpt just looks really nice. I love the dark blending with the lighter colours and then the stone grey on the back and the button is here and it blends real well Um, I thought it was going to stand out but it blends really well and then let's have a quick look at the face sculpt so the face sculpt looks like this in this light brown colour and then it fades into this darker green on the top of his head I think the face sculpt is very good I love all the scale marks and grooves in its face and I love its jawline with the um, sad spikes on its face 
Um, it's got a yellow eye. I don't know if it's picking it up well on the camera, but it's got this really nice striking yellow eye. Um, I will take a picture of that at the end, like I said. And now let's have a look at the action feature and listen to the noise it makes. So I think on the picture it swings its tail and it makes noises. So let's have a look. Oh. So that sounds absolutely awesome. I like that it's got an action feature as well. And you press it in here on the back. So you just press it in like that. Oh, the button got stuck. Like that. Yeah, be careful. I think sometimes the button might get stuck. But overall, I just think it sounds, looks amazing. So guys, now I'm going to get down to the articulation. So it moves its tail. It doesn't move it where you want it to move it as it's on a spring because of the action feature. So you can either use the feature, um, the action feature, or you can use it with your hand to for play purposes. As you can see, it can move its legs, both of its legs that far forward. It can't move them back and it can't move them out at the front. But on the back, it can also do the same. So it can move its legs back like that. It can move them forward like that. But on this one, on the back legs, you can actually move its legs out like that. So it's on like a little bit of a ball joint. So they can move in and out, but can't do it at the front, which is no big deal. Um, it's heads on a ball joint. So it can look that far up. It can look that far down. So that's how far it can look up. That far down. It can move its head um, side to side, it can slant its head that way, slant its head that way, it can pretty much just go all the way around. So it's got some really good posability on its head, um, can move its legs, it ain't got loads of articulation but because it's on its, um, its four legs anyway, it's no big deal as it would be standing and you can still move it in a way you want to move it like that or you can use its legs to make it look like it's walking and moving so overall articulation is good overall the paintwork and the sculpt is brilliant and i'm just so glad i picked it up so guys i've got a dinosaur guest here and i've got ellie the figure here um to do a size comparison i'm going to show you um ellie last and i'm going to show you the size comparison with the triceratops so now in my mind i feel like the head height is perfect the length is perfect but i feel like I, I might be wrong but i feel like that the the armor on its back would have been like the same height as the triceratops's back but i might be wrong i don't know but i think it looks it still looks really good. They still look really good next to each other. I just thought maybe that it's um it was a bit more curved like that to so that height next to it. But overall, that's no big deal. It still looks really really good stood next to each other, and this is how big it looks. So I'm just gonna put that there, and this is how big it looks next to Ellie, which I think looks really really good as well. Um. But in my mind, I just feel like maybe the armour could have been a bit more higher or a bit more curved. Now standing it next to the Triceratops and the human. Because in the movies, it looks absolutely ginormous. But that's just me being picky. But overall, I just think that I think the size comparison does look really good. And I still think that they look really good standing together. So I haven't got really no complaints other than that tiny, tiny one. Um, but I still think it looks like an awesome figure and I still think that it it's a good figure to add to your Jurassic World collection. So if you like this figure, I will link the description down below. Um, I don't know if it's fully out in the UK, but I can link one where I know it's coming out pretty much soon in the UK. So if you like this review, please like, subscribe to my channel, hit that alarm bell um, for more toy related stuff. For more Jurassic World stuff, 
you know what to do and check the um, video right to the end to get the code so you can scan your dinosaur in um, and add it into your collection and I will see you on the next one guys for more videos. Remember what to do, like and subscribe, bye!